Yo, what's up everybody? How is it going? Today we are playing a very spooky mode. We are playing Survival 6, which is made by Firetoad and he put a weird scene from like a movie or a book or something there and there's a creepy clown. Because this is actually Dota 1x6. This is a modification of the mode we made uh, that is meant to allow us to play another survival match where the goal is just to go for as long as we possibly can. How long can we stay alive against the creeps? How long can we live? Live against the Horde. And for that, we're gonna play a more, bit more of a co-op game. So we're gonna help each other out a bit, right? We're gonna try to feed some kills where we need it. We're gonna try to make sure people have their epics. But ultimately, the goal is to survive and live the longest. Now, this modification specifically removes the final duel. So there is no final duel. And without the final duel, uh, there's no longer gonna be an end when there's only two players alive. Instead, it ends when there's only one player alive. That way we can see who actually makes it the longest. Based on the video length, I think you can tell this is going to take a little bit. So I hope y'all got yourself a sandwich or something because we're gonna be here for a bit. <laughs> but anyway, uh, ended up being a bit of fun. We played Legion Commander for it so we can have a ton of dual damage. And uh, yeah, now one thing really quick, as well as a bit of a miscommunication between me and Fire Toad, uh, I uh, told him that I would like to have the epics infinitely purchasable. I think he forgot about doing that, so I say at some point in the video that it is, but then we later learn it's not. But I just want to like say right now, so you know, uh, it's not infinitely purchasable. Uh, if you want that at some point in the future, maybe we can make that version of the mode as well. Also. This mode is made with permission from Xeno. So don't worry, we didn't just like rip his game. Uh, this mode, we, we asked Xeno first, so we're all good there. Anyway, and uh, yeah, that's it. So I hope you guys enjoyed, and let's get into the game. Okay, we're playing Legion Commander. We'll grab ourselves some boots, a Quelling Blade, and then a bit of mana in all likelihood. We'll get overwhelming odds. Now, we're gonna need to farm enemy heroes just a tad little bit. Obviously, what we could do, right, what we could try to do is just kill opposing heroes for the entire game. I basically dedicate multiple heroes just to feeding me and then we become maximum infinite power. But I thought I didn't want to do that because it's mean and, you know, not fun. Who's going to have a good time with that? So we're not doing that. But... I am going to gank specifically a bunch of int heroes in the early game. I'm going to try to get some kills on them. Uh, specifically, I want to get dual kills on int heroes so I can get cooldown reduction. Now, I think the maximum cooldown reduction we can get is 50%. But I do want those 50% cooldown reduction because obviously that would give us just tremendous um, like additional duels. right? We can just like spam duels way, way more if we have that. Uh, on that note, I'm also planning on getting some uh, some additional cooldown reduction on top of that. Right? We're just going to get an Octarine Core. The goal is really just to like dual creeps as much as possible. Uh, that's also where the Aghanim's Shard is going to be important because it makes it so that we dual creeps. Um, okay, Whew. maybe my timing was a little too greedy there. But it makes it so that when we dual creeps, uh, we, actually, we actually have... Um, what am I saying here? Sorry. Losing track of my words. When we dual creeps, we actually have a reduced cooldown on the duel afterwards. Now, we do need to get dual leveled up. That's really, really important here, obviously. So that's just going to be our first priority. Yeah. Also, Battle Fury. We are a damage dealing right clicking hero anyway. So we want a Battle Fury. Makes sense for us, right? It's going to be very effective. So we're going to go for Battle Fury as quickly as we can because it's not only going to make us strong in the late game against these creeps, but it's also going to make us strong in the short term uh, in terms of farming, which is valuable. Then we get this here. Both duelists gain 40 additional attack speed, which is very good. We'll teleport back. Midas as well. No, no, no. I don't like Midas. I think Midas would be a waste of money. I mean, I guess... I mean, if we're dueling people a little bit... Okay, maybe Midas, that might actually be okay. If we're getting some duels, we can actually get a good amount of blue orbs out of them. Alright. Sadly... Oh! I'm gonna go for this. I'm gonna go for the game rare upgrade orbs. That's actually ideal, right? That's actually the best one. Thanks, Legion Commander. Because now we get rare upgrade orbs faster. 
Okay. And we're gonna get we're gonna get our epics anyway. That's fine. I'm not worried about that. Yeah, that seems really good. Just maximize our rear upgrade orbs as much as possible. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go. Uh, I do want to reiterate really quick that this mode was made with permission from Xeno. Uh, but, but, we're going to take it down after we're done playing it today. Alright, it's not going to be available. Which, again, based on Xeno's request. That's that's what he said. He said, we can make it as long as we take it down afterwards. So, uh, in case you end up looking for it, that's why you probably won't be able to find it. Uh, but I thought it was still a fun idea. So, you know, we went and, uh, and we got it here. So we're going to be playing it today. And we get ourselves 5% damage against creeps. That's always the best one, right? We want 5% damage against creeps. Although, to be honest, I'm actually not worried about our damage. I'm more worried about our survivability. I think our damage is going to be fine anyway. So, you know. You're not scared someone will download and re-upload it? Well, somebody was gonna do that. They might as well just do that with normal 1x6. It's not like we got the original files from Xeno or anything like that. The whole problem with, like, plagiarism in the Dota Arcade is that you can just download other people's games. You just have access to them. <laughs> and I guess you could see that as a good or a bad thing, you know, depending on how you feel about it. But, um, yeah, it's, you, you could just do that. That's why we asked for permission first. Okay, let's go and slam that in there. But if somebody wanted to just, like, you know, steal it, they, they don't need to use this version. They can just use the original version. Of course, that would be mean. Don't do that. Alright. Now, I get 4% or so. Wait. 4% or so. Um, cooldown reduction per duel. But if I use my... If I use my uh, legendary thing, I can increase that, right? And I actually get double that value. Ah, okay. So, plus one second duel duration. And the new ability, 100 seconds cooldown. If the next duel ends in a victory, you will get double the bonuses. The ability goes in cooldown when I cast the duel. So, hello, Lena, may I? <laughs> hello, sorry. I'm just gonna... If I may, thank you. There we go. Yeah, this is just gonna be part of this a little bit. If they need anything from me, I'm happy to provide it. But uh, as is... Oh, sorry, yes, I shouldn't be taking the patrol. That is mean. That is definitely... Sorry, my bad. I didn't think that through. I did not consider that properly. I will only do this when I have the... Um, when I have the... Uh, what's it called? The impending victory available. Other than that, I will just do all creeps. So, something that I like. I thought I started earlier. But we could, in theory, say, you know, to get truly the maximum poss possible you know, like, power, the most powerful hero. Um, what we would want to actually do is only dual heroes and just have a bunch of heroes dedicated to just feeding into the Legion Commander. Yes. But that's not fun, is it? Like, I think there would just be a bunch of players that would just not get to enjoy the video game at all in that scenario. So I don't really want to do it. But just so we're on the same page here, right? Like, I acknowledge that for the strict purposes of the exercise, this probably would be more efficient. But also, it would suck, and I don't want to, right? It just wouldn't be very enjoyable for anyone, I think. Alright. Where's the Lena? I gotta, I gotta give myself another... <laughs> yeah, there she is. Come here. <laughs> Oh, they, oh, she's already coming. All right. Thank you. Appreciate it. And then we duel. And here it is. Perfect. So we have four. We have 12% cooldown reduction right now. We do still need a little more, right? The goal is to get the 50% just so I can spam duel as much as possible. <coughs> <coughs> Uh, 
<coughs> Apologies. I'm feeling a little sick. All right. <clears throat> when I say a little sick, I mean quite, but I'm trying my best. <laughs> I'm being rude, Lena needs kills too. I guess. Sure. I will I will gladly give Delina a return kill. Why not? Why not? Where, where's she at? Come here, friend. It's true. You're right. I should probably get let her have something. Alright, kill me. So she gets some money. Because, of course, feeding to me like that is going to put her a little behind. So next up, we want to get ourselves uh, the Aghanim Shard. And then I probably also want to get Octorinko. Just to maximize how often we're dueling. That's it. I only care about that. Everything else is inconsequential to me. I want to get as many duels as possible. We will get more cleave damage for what it's worth. Aghanim Shard becomes available at 12 minutes, right? You should leave a rating on the video. Okay, hello. <laughs> We're back to this. I actually don't have duel ready. Sorry. I, I don't have it. I can't duel you. Get Aghanims too. Well, Aghanims, uh, we will get eventually. It, it just increases the dual damage bonus from hero kills. But, you, you know, like I just don't think that would actually be that useful for us. Okay, now I've got it. Come here, come here. All right, pig attack. All right. And there's our duel. Nice. And I'm just going to immediately run into her base. And just, you know, let her get her return. Make sure that she doesn't need to wait too long for it. And also this way I'll be dead in time uh, to pick up my uh, next duel. Alright, I, I will die, come back, and then I can duel something again. So we are at 6, so at 18% cooldown reduction. I still gotta do this a few more times. Although, admittedly, that's actually not true. We are at 24% cooldown reduction. So we still need to do it a few more times, but actually not as many as I just implied. Because this is currently only working at the level 1 of the ability, right? And it will eventually be higher than what it is right now. Alright. Get Blink Dagger as well. <clears throat> and we will get 5 damage, 5% 5 damage against creeps again. Hey, that's just the, the standard, the most important thing here, right? Gotta maximize our damage against creeps. It'll also be good uh, uh, for farming. Like, it's... Funnily enough, pretty good for that purpose as well. All right, Lena. <laughs> We're back. Come here. Come here. Let's do it. I gotta channel this really quick. And dual time. Okay, we are at 24%. Only need a few more. Aghanim's shard becomes available now. So I will just pick that up immediately. I will get a blue. Luckily, we do get just a ton of blues because of our upgrade. But we have the Aghanim's Shard now. Aghanim's Shard reduces our cooldown of the duel if we use it on a creep. So, more cooldown reduction. I mean, it's actually got a really low cooldown already. That's pretty sick. Like, so far, our plan is working decently. We're already at 112 damage. I mean, part of that is, of course, just getting actual dual wins on the Legion Commander, but still, we'll take it. Pick up this. Alright, I'm coming. I'm not Legion Commander, Lena. Sorry. Oh, also she's going back. Also, I forgot to feed to her. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm so bad at this. I'm such a ba bad best friend. You're a way better best friend than me. 
<laughs> I'm sorry. I'm, I'm genuine. I just forget. I just forget. All right, we'll get the duel on this. I will pick up. I actually think I get the no creeps are good against evasion, right? I can also feed dual to other heroes, but that wouldn't be as effective. They don't get as much value out of it as I do. Alright, hello friend. Attack! Attack! <laughs> Alright, dual time. Nice, epic. Here we go, so we can immediately see the proper value that we're working with. Which is, of course, 40%. Uh, so I just, I just need like 10%. I need three more kills, actually. Which is annoying. That's like actually quite a lot of kills, but that's not too bad. There you go. It's not too bad at all. Weirdly, this kind of feeding back and forth has resulted in both me and the Lena having like a lot of money. We're actually really rich. Cool. <laughs> Two caustic can't double. Uh, yeah, I'm accounting for that. Wait, no. Yeah, no, we, you're right. Sorry. You're right. My bad. My bad. As I said, I'm feeling a little under the better. It turns out teaming would be very powerful if it was allowed. But of course it is not. That would be a crime. I feel like I should kill somebody else for once. Well, how, where's this Ogre Magic? Oh, dead. Okay. Well, I'll just duel you, I guess. And then we'll go back. So another epic coming up. I'll put the repair kits over there. And, uh... Well, this is where usually things would start getting a little spooky. But not today. During duel, you cannot die. Now that's gonna be some good protection. So Duel now has a 24 second cooldown, which is reduced even more when I use it on a creep. So it's 15 seconds cooldown. It's just nothing. It just does not have a cooldown, really. Well, I need to find the Lena. Oh, hello. Very good. That's very convenient. Thank you. Appreciate it. <laughs> All right, duel time. And now I just need one more, one more duel. Uh, we can do that immediately, actually. I don't need to wait until I get the... Um, I don't need to wait until I get the impending victory online for this. I can just immediately go for it. Go feed her. Yeah, she's respawning. Don't worry about it. I might actually be a wiener here and kill her one more time. There you go. Because this way I'm done. And now I'll just die here. Right, so she can have her kill now. But now this entire process is, is over with. We don't have to do this anymore. It's kind of annoying. But this was just kind of part of, like, Legion Commando, right? However, important thing is we have the 50% cooldown reduction now. We could also farm up attack speed and health. Um, I think attack speed would actually not be that useful, honestly. Like, Legion Commando attacks really quickly anyway, just because of moment of courage. But health would definitely be beneficial. But again, that's not something I want to do today. <clears throat> we might do a little bit. <laughs> Mostly just killing the alchemist if we get an opportunity to. Alright, let's go back. So our duel just... Oh, look at that, it's back off cooldown again. That's so fast. I mean, that's the point, right? Alright, duel time. Good. We will get more damage against creeps. We've got a blink dagger. And I mean, now we're just dueling things. Alright, look at that. And we've got the blink dagger for mobility. We've got duel, which got no cooldown. <laughs> Alright, get a bounty rune. Take this down. So it's like 14 seconds cooldown. That's what we're talking about now. I mean, that's pretty excellent. And now we just do this for like, I don't know, 45 minutes. 
I mean, somebody could already calculate our damage by the end of it. It's gonna be pretty high, I think. Oh. Alright, you can go. It's fine. I've, I've taken enough from you. I already feel mean about that. Then... Overwhelming odds? No. Moment of Courage reduce incoming attack damage. I mean, we're probably gonna get all of our upgrades, I would guess. Just by virtue of having the epic that increases the uh, ratio at which we're getting blue upgrades. So we should be able to get everything, right? We already had 278. Look at that. Now that's a bit crazy, isn't it? I'll wait here. Teleport back. I mean, I guess I could still get a Hand of Midas. Do we care about Hand of Midas? I don't know. I've gotten it. Because I feel like our wise people might get annoyed with me. I don't really think it does that much, but might as well. We probably should have gotten it earlier if we were going to get it, but oh well. It's fine. We're going to have plenty of money anyway. Actually, I mean, the Hand of Might is... We're going to have a lot of cooldown reduction for it, <laughs> right? <laughs> That's for sure. So there is a certain, certain value to that. The, uh, what, 44 second cooldown Hand of Midas? Yes. Yes. Cool. Take this. Some more movement speed. I'm kind of tempted to just, like, max out movement speed right now. But I don't know what we would buy for that. Huh. With 326 damage. Pick up these. Yeah, this is just gonna be our journey now. No, I actually don't really want to kill you. I don't... I mean... If you don't go away, I will. Alright, sure, whatever. I mean... <laughs> <laughs> let's let's go. <laughs> so, we will go ahead and get moment of courage chance. There's another kill. Extra health. <clears throat> Ogre just submitted to fate. I mean, Ogre really didn't need to, but like. At that point, I felt a little bit like I had to. Had to do it, you know? So, what does Aghanims do for us? It's just nothing really important, right? I mean, I guess it makes it so that if we duel a, a, a hero, we get a little bit of extra damage. Which is not bad. It's just not actually that valuable, but I guess I'll take it. So I am out farming Alchemist, but it's just because I do absolutely incredible amounts of damage, like just bizarre amounts of damage with my duo already. So that's pretty good. Cool. I wonder if we could, like, do all the alchemist a bunch. <laughs> oh no, they interrupted my cast point here. Hey, 420 damage. So mine. Where's the creeps? And the map is too small for this. There's not enough creeps. Oh dear. I gotta find something, though. There you go. 
<clears throat> How many rounds do you think we'll go on for? <sighs> Forever. No idea, honestly. I mean, those quill bores quite uh, surprised me quite a bit last time we tried this, so... Maybe there'll just be a wall that we hit. I will guess so. I will guess there's gonna be eventually just... Round, I don't know, 50 or something, where we spawn in and immediately get one shot. And there's just gonna be nothing we can do about it. Oh, 5% cooldown reduction. Oh, yes, thank you. I'll take it. Hello. You guys don't have to do this. But I will take it. Sure. Like... Fine, I guess? I don't know. <laughs> Alright, let's uh, unequip this for a moment. Hand of Midas. Uh, should I feed to the Alchemist a little bit? I don't know, I just, I don't want to actually kill anyone. Maybe I should just ignore them. I think next time I will literally just ignore them. Because then I don't feel guilty about, like, needing to feed to them. Because if I'm dead, I lose damage. Oh. Oh, we're fighting? Sure. Sure, let's go. <laughs> oh, oh, oh! There we go. There we go. Oh, now I don't feel like that's okay. Kill me. Like, fight me. If we run into each other, actually fight me. <clears throat> I have no beef with that at all. For Alchemist, you want to kill? He's Alchemist. He's going to be able to get kills. Well, he, he can just, like, buy epics. Like, that's fine. Just buy an epic. Oh, I needed to use this bad boy. Alright, we'll get Lifesteal. Coming down here, Hand of Midas you, Duel you. So I now have 320 health from duels. That's actually not that bad. That's actually not that bad. Did you disable the limit of being able to buy only one epic? Yes! That's the idea. <laughs> I hope it actually worked. We are we haven't tried it yet. We'll we'll see. We'll have to figure that out. I mean let's just try it. And there it is, yep. You can just buy more than one epic. There you go, we got an epic. Alright. I'll get this, I'll get the protection effect. Alright, channel this up so I get the double damage and then see if we can win. But I actually don't think so, I think we lose. I think Ogre is too much. Hello! Okay. We're making a lot of noise over there. Alright. <clears throat> So we can't win against the Ogre. Yeah, Ogre, Ogre bonked us. I mean, it's Ogre Magi. There's gonna be some bonking. <laughs> Ogre martial arts are a thing that are definitely terrifying. And honestly, my item build isn't that good for fighting. My, my item build is not even good for fighting creeps, to be honest. But I just haven't prioritized that. Like, I think right now we can fight creeps just with sheer damage. That's fine. We deal enough damage. Eventually, we're gonna need a little more than that. We're gonna need some... Some more nuance. But until we get to that point... This is fine. Oh, hello. I think that's a kill. Nice. Ah, that's just more damage. It's a bunch of extra health, which I appreciate. And we're coming over here. Ooh, hello. You know what? Fun fact. This shit doesn't have a cooldown. <laughs> oh, not so fun fact. Apparently, I can't hit you because you have too much evasion. Ah! Oh, you have a lot of evasion. Where's it coming from? It... What? Oh, the Slide of Fist upgrade. Okay. It's the Slide of Fist upgrade. 
Yeah, I think the Hand of Midas probably should just go. We, we don't really need that. Okay, dual time. I think we're getting to the point where the creeps are actually like somewhat relevant. Mm -hmm. So we should be ever so slightly careful. Like it's not a serious problem yet. But it's definitely kind of ramping up into that direction. So we want to make sure that we have enough survivability in terms of like building HP as well. Okay, 10% cooldown reduction, thank you. It's just like an additional one second less cooldown, really. But I'll take it. I'll take one second cooldown reduction. Right? Like every tiny bit, I'm down for it. Because we also, of course, have got the Blink Dagger and the Hand of Midas. Which only has uh, 39.6 seconds cooldown right now. AC for armor. Yeah, eventually. Eventually. Like right now, the plan is really just to, you know, do this. <laughs> I could consume something so I can actually fit some items into my inventory. Like if I get this... Because, like, in a way, I think it would be nice if I could actually win a fight against anybody. Oh, we don't count a ward. No, no, no. We don't count a ward. Because wards are important for just scouting out where farm is. Hmm. And... So, what do we need? We're definitely going to want to get crits. And I think it's probably not a bad idea to just start with that. Like, we 100% want the Daedalus, right? Because of our huge damage output, Daedalus will be intense. It will just allow us to do huge chunks of damage. But of course, uh, you know, if we get it right now, then we are also able to use it for farming a little bit. Oh my god, is that cooldown reduction? Yes! 15.8 <laughs> eight seconds, alright. Yeah, we probably want to buy a little bit of armor. Just a tad little bit is not a bad idea, right? By the way, I'm leaving all of the neutral items around. Because... That way somebody else might want to pick them up. You know, like, I don't need them. I don't use them. But somebody else might want it. And so they can't find them. Because ultimately, I want them to survive. Oh, there's no creeps. Ah, shit. Ah, oh, that's a problem. I need creeps. Okay, good. Like, that's actually like a mild problem I've got. So there's just not enough creeps. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, may maybe a bit of an issue. Not that much of an issue, but like maybe a little bit of one. Let me get this. Um, actually... Nothing good, unfortunately. No, I didn't want... Oh. I mean, it doesn't matter. But I didn't actually want to use it yet. I wanted to move it into my backpack. Yes. We will get more moment of crouch chance. I could have gone for a kill. I don't know if I should have. <laughs> is this mine? Oh, it is. Queen of Pain. 
Do I beat her up? I don't get much value out of killing the Queen of Pain. No! And I don't think I can kill the Ogre Magi. Ogre martial arts are just too much to handle. Can I see that? Feed her? I mean, she's not that far behind. She's doing okay. Alright, we'll get this. Which is just a bit of protection. We can activate that immediately. The buff lasts until needed. So there's no reason to not use it immediately. Okay, Mickey Blacksmithing. No, she's taking apart old furniture for the move. Because she's decided that she does actually want to go to Giesen for her prep courses. Uh, which does also mean that she's not going to be able to be here when we actually do the moving. So, all of the preparation needs to be done now. I should probably get, like, those true strike things. Alright, grab this. Good. Smithing her first scalpel. You know what's funny? So when we went to look at the university, we just kind of like, we walked around a bit. We had a look at some of the buildings, right? I don't know. I was just curious what it's like. So we look around and it turns out there is a... Oh, what do you call that in, in English? Is it glass blowing? Is that how you also say that in English? I don't know. Glass, like when you create glass, I guess. Yeah, glass blowing is that, is that a term? Yeah, okay, good. But in the medical buildings, there was like a glass blowing facility. And I was like, that's weird. Like, that's a weird combo. Why is that here? But turns out there's like specific medical devices that are made of glass. Like, certain syringes or something. I don't know what exactly it was. Mickey explained it to me and I forgot. <laughs> Sorry, if I may be honest. I personally don't care for any of this medical crap. I don't know about it. I don't I don't really want to know about it. It's all a little gross. But, um, anyway, setting that aside. But turns out that the best way to get those specific things um, is to just make them, like, on the spot. Instead of buying them and having them shipped. Because they're so delicate that if you were to ship them, they would probably just break. So the best way of handling it is to just have them be made on location. And that's why the medical buildings, the medical faculties, have a glass blowing facility. Isn't that weird? I thought that was really weird. I thought that was kind of bizarre. I mean, like, it makes sense. I'm not saying it's it's stupid or anything like that. It makes a lot of sense. But, uh, I didn't know that or expect that. <laughs> Alright, we are already at the siege for creeps. So I should probably get rid of my, uh, well, I guess I can get rid of this for now and get in a soul cross. Alright, let's go back. Siege wave is coming up. As far as I know, in chemical labs, they also have similar things to clo close of glass tubes and the like. Yeah, I mean, uh, this this school also has a has a chemistry faculty, so I would assume that it's like a shared space, right? But I don't know. It's just something that I never even considered. I never even thought that a doctor might need to know glass blowing. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Not something that I thought might be relevant to them, but apparently it is. <laughs> Sorry, friends. My damage output is a little wild. Let 
We'll grab uh, some more health. Pick up a bounty rune. <clears throat> you can only buy one epic. What? No, Fire Toad! Did Fire Toad scam us? Oh, it seems you can only buy one epic. All right, I guess I guess no multi multi epics then. Well, I guess we just gotta fight each other a bit then. So is it uh, action time? I mean, honestly, how about after every creep round? We do a battle royale in the mid. Just like immediately after the creep round. We just all go into the mid and we fight it out. Until everybody except for one player is dead. That way we generate a whole bunch of kills. Which seems like a good idea. No! Attack! Whew. Got it. And because we do it right at the start of the round, we don't need to worry about it like overlapping with anything. Um, I don't like any of this. I will get this. I will get the neutral upgrades or better. That seems good. Hmm. <clears throat> Overwhelming odds damage increases by 40% of my attack damage. So that just does a lot of damage now. <laughs> like way too much damage. <sighs> Good. I will get more armor. I'm gonna sell this now. I don't need that anymore. And I will pick up... I will pick up a Moon Shard, and I will pick up a Crimson Guard. And I think I actually keep the Blink Dagger, weirdly. I think I actually keep the Blink Dagger. Alright, Battle Royale time. I'm in the mid. I mean, I'm not saying I'll give it to you for free. It's a Battle Royale, friends. Who wants to fight? Alright, activate this. I want to kill the Alchemist, or the... Ember spirit, ideally. Come on! Yeah! Let's go! <laughs> nice! Double kill! Alright, there's Alchemist. Ooh, we're dead. We're dead! I, I, I did okay there. I got a little bit. I don't know who was gonna win between the Lena and the Alchemist. But somebody, somebody will probably, would be my guess. So we got ourselves a bit of extra attack speed now, which is kind of handy, I guess. Maybe we should have gotten Strength Blink instead of this Blink. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Fat Laguna Blade. So we've got about a minute for getting kills. Pirate hat. Do I like that more than spell prison? I mean, in the long run, maybe. Okay. Nice. Dual time. <laughs> okay. Do we try to go for anyone? So people are counter-warding, and I don't like that. Just let us have our wards. Just let me have vision. Dual time. Thank you. I appreciate it. It gives me a bunch of extra attack speed. Right? Like, now I'm at 80 extra attack speed. Which is actually quite a lot. That's actually, like, quite a lot. Ooh, Stygian. What's better, Stygian or Pirate Heart? Stygian is definitely better. I should probably put the Stygian in the mid, though. Just so if somebody wants it, they can pick it up. Ah, sorry, the pirate had in the mid. 
Should I keep spell person? What do you guys think? Or should I equip something that's a bit bigger? Alright, I'll put the pirate heart here. Not now. It's too late for fighting. Don't kill each other now. If we kill each other now, we are actually killing each other. We don't want that. That's not the goal. Alright. Cool, cool. I gotta let the cat out. Alright, one sec. <clears throat> Yeah, the cat's just sitting over there screaming. Pick up a bounty rune. Yeah, okay. We'll go back, actually. I'll equip this for the fight now. Nice. Not a problem. I will get more cleave, right? <clears throat> oh, it's battle royale time. I forgot. I apologize. I forgot about the battle royale. Of course, it's battle royale time. Let's go. I don't really want to kill the end heroes. I'm gonna see if I can find. No, you guys can go at it. That's fine. I don't I don't really I want to get the ember. I think I got him. Nice. Ooh, I got another one. All right. <laughs> oh dear. Now, uh, this is the end boss of the battle royale. Oh! <laughs> I am the end boss of the battle royale. <laughs> we got him. Mm -hmm. Well, Legion Commander goes hard, what can I say? Especially if she has like 1400 dual damage. Alright, we finally got a respawner. For what it's worth, that should be somewhat decent. You know, I would like some extra attack speed if you don't mind. Ooh, hello, Lena. Come here, come here! Oops. Oh no, this might end poorly. Okay. No, we gotta get away from her. Channel this up. Charge! You can't run. <laughs> okay, let's see if we can win against Ogre Martial Arts. Oh dear, Mogo Martial Arts are way too much. Alright, play. Uh, oh, duel. Come on, come on, come on. Duel, 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 duel. Yes! I just realized I have like no cooldown on this because of all of my cooldown reduction. Okay. We are so strong while we're dueling. We are so strong. Here. After press the after moment of courage triggers four times your next attack and powers, which is a guaranteed critical strike and a stun with cleave. Well, I have a little bit of money. Does anybody need I should feed to the ogre. I'm gonna go feed to the ogre really quick. Yes. No no oh, I wanted to Okay. Alright, take the kill. Take the kill. I wanted to try and get uh, another duel on creeps, but like, honestly, I feel like my damage is pretty much where we want it to be. Like, what else is there really to do at this point in terms of damage output? Like, do I even still need Octarine? I wonder how much cooldown reduction Octarine even gives me. Hmm. The next question as well is like, what second legendary do we get? Originally, I thought this, press the attack delays 50% of incoming damage. That way we have, like, a really good protection effect. So the cooldown is now 19.8. Wait. 
19.8 and now it's 15.8. Now it's a four second reduction. That's pretty, pretty hefty. That's quite a lot. Oh, I can't duel you. Sure, summon a dude. Good. So 50% cooldown, 50% uh, damage for a few seconds. 50% damage reduction. Um, I can trigger additional overwhelming odds. Or I can... Well, this one is terrible. But it, it can give us 10% damage reduction. Like, flat. I think we get the 50% damage reduction, right? Alright, Battle Royale. What? No, I'm running. I'm fighting. This is a fight. Oh, you interrupted me. Dual time? Oh. Alright. Wow, we just barely won that one. How many epics do we have? We've got quite a few, but like... Not the infinite amount that I was hoping for. I will get extra damage against creeps. How much damage do we do against creeps? We have this upgrade five times. Oh my god, Alchemist. <laughs> oh, <laughs> he got us. I, I shouldn't have just stood there, but I was just blown away by it. I think 50% damage reduction was definitely the way to go. Quop is failing so hard. Why? What's wrong with Quop? I mean, like, I thought Quop was kind of a weird. You don't have any epics. Wait, what? Do you need kills? Oh no, she only got two kills. Why aren't you saying anything? <laughs> Friends, everybody's gonna need to feed to the Queen of Pain a few times. Yeah, 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 yeah. Apologies, I wasn't aware. Well, where did she go? I will not feed to you. But we're going to feed to the Queen of Pain together, I suppose. <clears throat> we told you to feed her. She said she was fine. Well, I was looking at the network, not at the um, kills. Oh my god, come on. This is the dream scenario. Get your cooldown reduction. Do it. Yes! <laughs> I don't think it gets better for a Queen of Pain ultimate build than that. I was just looking at the net worth. I wasn't aware that she didn't have any kills. Oh, Alright. I've got way too much money and really nothing to spend it on. What would we buy as like our last item against creeps? Probably just an Aeon disc. Is Aeon Disc ever the right choice? What is the right choice? Satanic? Shiva? Oh. Is it still charging? Oh, okay. Well, today I learned. I thought I would, like, kind of clip down the cliff, but apparently not. Apparently, it's just normal pathing. Okay, I will get another one of these. Maybe I just keep Octarine Core. That way I actually... Wait, I definitely keep Octarine Core. With Octarine Core, I have 100% uptime. Press the attack. I just realized that. We don't get rid of Octarine Core, ever. Because I can have 100% uptime press the attack. That is better than anything else I can buy. Lags? Yeah, the game is lagging. Don't need to, don't need to freak out. It happens. Hello. I'm here to provide a helping hand. Also because I, I don't know, maybe we, oh, it's Battle Royale time. I forgot. I'm sorry. I establish rules and immediately forget about them. I know. It's horrible. It's 
That's fine. That still counts. Did you get it? Does she have her 20? No, she needs a little more. Do I kill the him? <laughs> no, I don't think so. <laughs> I'm just making up for the fact that we didn't help her out earlier. I mean, you can just blast the ultimate. There you go. So now you've got your 20, right? Which means that the cooldown of it is now reduced by 20 seconds. Uh, yeah. Cool. She also invested all of her epics into, like, other shit. So she doesn't have all of her epics. But I guess that's on her. Also, Ogre, Ogre Bill, Ogre Bonk, definitely the strongest late game right click build. I'm convinced by that. I don't think anything, any right-click build can beat Ogre Bonk. I don't know which one it would be. Maybe Phantom Assassin E, but that's just because you can't interact with her. So I don't know if that counts. Okay, come on, come on. Oh, see, I can't win. I've got 1600 dual damage and I just get bonked down. <laughs> yeah. It's Ogre Bonk. He bonk. Okay, I think it's time to stop fighting people, and I'm gonna try to just, like, continue farming up my dual damage. Mm. I mean, I said this before, but, like, if we... If there was a 1x6 tournament today, and I had to pick my build for the entire tournament, I would play Ogre Magia. Like 100%, I would play Ogre Magi and I would go for the E build. And I would just bonk my way to victory. Or to defeat, who knows. So, it's now starting to actually get difficult. It's also gonna start taking a really long time between, you know, waves. But it's gonna start being difficult. Because the waves that are now coming up are genuinely quite strong. Spell prism. Nah, it's fine. I'm just gonna use it again. Like, I know it's not strictly the most efficient, but I just don't really care that much. We will get armor. Okay, all right, never mind. Let's get the spell first. I declared that I don't care, and then I immediately realized that I do care. <laughs> so my previous declaration was nonsense, don't listen to me. I got hexed? Hmm. And it didn't matter anyway, that's impressive. So I, I somehow, right there, managed to get hexed and still dual time. And still, despite getting hexed, come on, nope. I got the dual off. So I don't know how that works. So battle for you. Nah, we want the cleave. I don't really think we get rid of any of our items. I think these are just the items to go with. I like them. I think they're good. If we were to do a 1x6 tournament today, what build would you guys play? What would be your go-to? Your Okay, I need to win this game. What What build do you pick? I would pick Ogre Bonk or hmm. 
Probably like Snapfire. Like Ultimate or something like that. Potch. Oh yeah, Potch. That's a good call. It's Mar Marcy W. Oh god, Marcy W is so broken. The Marcy W build is so stupidly overpowered. I will get status resistance and movement speed. Wow. I mean, it pretty much just comes down to whether or not I get some good crits. But if I do get them, I can actually win against the Ogre Magic. So I feel pretty good about that. Hello, friend. No, I'm not killing you now. Right now would be mean, because, you know, there's uh, a creep wave coming up. We don't want that. Quop Q. <laughs> Is that the answer to the question what build would you pick if you wanted to make absolutely sure you're not winning your next game of 1xx? If you're just... Just which build are you gonna pick to make absolutely sure that you're losing MMR in the next game? Then you take the Quop Q. Monkey Banana. Oh, that's a good one for that. You're definitely not winning with Monkey Banana. Monkey Banana can actually, like, pretty reasonably get second place, but it, like, never wins, because it just doesn't have a way to win the final duel. Okay. All right. Cool. I will get more armor. We are at nearly 2,000 bonus damage. I don't even know what I'm farming. I guess I'm farming blue orbs, right? Yeah. Do I fight you? Oh, I might regret this. <laughs> oh, I nearly killed the Queen of Pain just like passively. <laughs> hey, I need two more kills and I can get another epic. I didn't think I was going to get another epic this game, but who knows. Alright, bonking time. Hey, we did it. I will get uh, more cleave damage. Yes. All right, let's see, let's see, let's see. What's our epic? <laughs> Press the attack, grants spell immunity, and heals you. After moment of courage, triggers four times my next attack in powers, or I gain status resistance for strength. I think I get the magic immunity. Yeah, like our. Upgrades here aren't actually that good. They're all a little mediocre, aren't they? So 140 extra attack speed, about a thousand extra health, and about uh, and 50% cooldown reduction here. I mean, the 50% cooldown reduction is really what's like making this all work. Alright, take this here. Do you think Hoodwink Ult would be good? No. Hoodwink Ultimate would fall off really, really quickly. Like, I know in theory it does have infinite scaling, but... You know, like, to get that infinite scaling, you would basically need every player to just line up for you over and over and over again. Right? Like, in a literal line, so you can shoot all of them and get a bunch of damage stacks. And, like, yes, in theory we could do that, but, like, again, that's the kind of gameplay I don't really want to wanna do. Mm -hmm. 
Wow. Got him. Alright, so we got 45 seconds cooldown. I can kill this dude too, right? I don't have to feel bad about it. Yo. Nice. <laughs> It's more attack speed. Look at that. You got 180 attack speed now. I should actually be like attack speed capped. Or at least close to, right? 679. Yeah. I mean, the only scaling we're doing now is just damage. Just dual. But like, that's okay, right? We're fine just scaling with dual. All right. And now I'll do one in here. And then we'll come for the tower. Come back here. We'll grab the Stygian. And then say to your sorceress. Uh, Alright, this, this, this duel. Not a problem. We gotta make sure we're always reapplying that. Extra damage against creeps. So my damage against creeps is now 39% increased. That's a lot. I mean a 39% damage increase is massive. Especially if I hit for like 2500. Why is the server lagging? You're not supposed to stay alive for this long in 1x6. I mean, have you ever seen a, a normal 1x6 game go this long? No, no, no. There's six players alive and we're 64 minutes into it. We're just not supposed to still be here. That's really the whole story. Okay. Oh, divine rapiers on the floor. I just need a creep. God damn it. Give me a creep. There you go. So honestly, I should just sit in front of like a few camps and wait. I mean, I strictly speaking can still farm blue orbs, but I've got so many blue upgrades. It's just like a little unnecessary. Bloodseeker could have 1000 agility and strength. Bloodseeker is definitely an option, yeah. Like 100%. Maybe we do it one more time, then we play Bloodseeker. But we get ourselves... Uh, we gotta make sure that next time you can actually buy epics. <laughs> that was the plan for today, but now we're an hour into it and I'm not stopping now. Because I am sick! I'm not recording two videos of this length today. No, thank you. The advantage Bloodseeker has is that he builds up a ton of damage. Um, but also he builds up survivability, which is something that I don't do as much. Like, I guess in theory, I I guess in practice even, I do also build up a, a good amount of survivability. I got a thousand extra health. But like, that's just nothing compared to Bloodseeker. Bloodseeker could have like a few fucking, I don't know how many percent he could have. How much strength, how much agility. No idea, but like probably quite a bit. But the problem Bloodseeker has, in my opinion, is that he doesn't have the same sort of like long-term power. Because with Legion Commander, we've got a lot of like blues and other epics that are helpful. But Bloodseeker doesn't really have that. Like, a lot of Bloodseeker stuff is just kind of bad and like weirdly specific. Without a doubt. 
All right, bounty. Time to go back. We equip this. And then... Dual time. And we'll take down you guys. And yeah. While this is happening, I just keep press the attack going. Make sure that that's always online. And then we're fine. I'm surprised that nobody has died yet. I mean, like, I expected the Queen of Pain to be knocked out by now. But she's fine. She's, like, totally fine. Somehow. Lena, everybody seems to be doing just okay. Alright. <clears throat> Queue up this again. Should we get another seven kills? I mean, we could. Oh, hello. Somebody just ran out of ultimate. <laughs> All right, now it's only five kills. I mean, to be honest, there isn't really anything else left to do anyway. I assume everybody has all of the upgrades. I do. So we might as well slap each other a little bit. You guys just keep coming in trying to hit me when I don't have my ultimate. Problem is, my ultimate has like two seconds cooldown, so I always have my ultimate. Except I couldn't get close enough. Alright, you win. You did it, Lena. You did it. I honestly think the Lena build has a really good shot at this too. Because like, Lena has just a bunch of these like really nice Laguna Blade and Dragon Slave upgrades that this is percentage based burn damage, right? And Laguna Blade is just a very good ability because it just like scales into the late game endlessly. You gotta get this epic though. Oh, Lina needs that epic for sure. How many kills does she need? Where's the Lina? I'm... Ah, it's not enough time, sorry. Lina needs that epic. We gotta hook her up with that. So, queue up this, and I am unsure if this will prevent the ultimate from triggering. Ah, it doesn't. Okay, we're fine. This is a mildly problematic wave. Oh my god. This wave might knock 
some people out. I would not at all be surprised by that. This wave definitely might kill some people. Because like, for example, like the problem is you need to get, you need to get through the uh, survivability aspect of it, right? Yeah, Queen of Pain can never kill this. I don't think so. I don't think she can get through. She can't deal enough damage before it disactivates again. Let's Should I help? 69. Do we help? No, you can do it! Never mind, she got it. Oh. <laughs> Don't worry about it. You saw nothing. You saw nothing. <laughs> Got both of them. <laughs> we got them both. Hmm. Hey, Lati man, thanks for the 26 months. Did I already say that? Thank you anyway. Thank you twice. Mm -hmm. Potentially, maybe. Olga might help. Do they? I don't think they need help. I think they're fine. In my opinion, Queen of Pain is by far the weakest build here. Maybe Ember Spirit is weaker. But like, not by much. Okay. Oh, <laughs> I do all the creep. <laughs> you don't really want to just attack me. Because, like, eventually I can just duel you. I, I, I really feel like people don't quite appreciate how low my dual cooldown is. It's difficult to appreciate. I can't really blame him for it. Because the dual cooldown is way too low. It shouldn't be this low. Um, but it is. It is absurdly low. And uh, you gotta be a little careful there. Respawn time will never go above 50, right? Yeah, it seems like it. Seems this is just kind of weird. The maximum respawn time. So we can play pretty precisely. I'll get a respawner. I need one more kill. Then I can get another epic. Let's go back. I'm not sure which epic I would even want, though. Probably some neutral one? I don't know. Kill it. Alright, keep attacking. Yeah, we're doing fine. Uh, we will get more cleave damage. Oh shit, not again. <laughs> I'll just wait here. Yeah, the server is just... having a hard time. It's okay. Sometimes the servers are just gonna have to put in the work. Oh no! Dead? A death against the creeps probably means a dead base. But I don't think they actually got into the base. Absolutely. 
Are people dying? I mean, it's not that unbelievable. We are really late into the game. Sorry, I just want to get my last epic. Because now I need 10 kills, which I'm never getting. Oh, will I get this? 1% extra damage per second. That sounds pretty great. Sure. I'll get myself another duel then. <laughs> Don't underestimate my power. Look, you guys had... You guys still stood a chance when this was a fair game. But it stopped being a fair game quite a while ago. Now it's some bullshit. I should go and feed the Lena a bit. Oh shit. Radiant Mega Creeps. That's pretty tough. That's a rough wave. It's a really tough one. I'll channel this. It doesn't matter, it maintains even if we die. I think the Lena gets the kill, right? Yeah. No? Oh. I learned something new today. So apparently, if you just die to somebody's base, then it goes to the dire. Whatever that means. I wonder how many she needs. You need four. Well, I got nothing better to do anyway. Because, like, honestly, we're not gonna get that much more damage here. <laughs> Just, we've got so much, you know. Alright. <clears throat> We're gonna tackle this to the best of our ability. Radiant Mega Creeps, definitely a scary wave. Very scary. Uh, but I might not even duel here. Like, weirdly, dueling might actually be bad. Like, a bad thing to do. I think so. Yeah, I don't think I duel here. I think I just focus on making sure I always have pressed the attack active. Because with duel, there's a chance that I don't have pressed the attack active. Because the duel lasts longer than it. And I want to make sure that I'm stacking this damage reduction. Look at this dude. Look at how enormous he is. Alright, one more cast, and now I can duel. Alright, I got him. And we will get more strength. Alright. Alchemist got it. Ogre's doing okay. Lina's doing okay. Oh! Now they're triggering. Woo! Oh, yep. Those are some hits, friends. Those are some hits. I still owe the Lena for earlier. I do. Come here. Take it. Take it! That it? If they got in, that's it. <laughs> just barely. Just, just barely. So these also scale up over time, right? Got 17,000 HP.
Ooh, is she just gonna get the epic? Alright, come on. Is it what you needed? No. Well, actually, no, that is one of them. You did want that. Okay. Well, now that she has that, I think I'm just gonna go back to farming. <laughs> Alright, what actually needs Epic Link? The percent chance to AoE and damage. Alright, how many kills do you need, Sunrise? I mean, honestly, I ain't got nothing else to do anyway. So. Where, where are you? Where you at? Five. Oh, I can't get you five that quickly, but I can get you one, I guess. Five is gonna have to take a moment. Alright, be careful that I don't accidentally attack you, because then you die. Maybe I'll fight this guy in the meantime. <laughs> that wasn't me, I swear. <laughs> she died to the alchemist cleave. Oh no, I'm sorry. I didn't consider that. I guess that's on me. I genuinely just didn't even think about that. Funny, look at that. With all of our weird cooldown reduction, after we stack all of the all of it to the maximum, we actually end up at a clean 15 seconds cooldown. That's kind of fun, isn't it? Technically, it was you because Alchemist moved forward because of the duel. I mean, it was me because I initiated the fight. Right? The Alchemist wasn't gonna fight, so it was my fault anyway. But it's just, I didn't have that in mind. I, I just wanted to fight. I don't think I actually want to use my duel right now. I might need it. Oh crap, this wave is tough. These guys have a stun. This is actually a problem, isn't it? Alright, door here. Attack, okay, we're good. We are fine. Because these ghosts, I mean, they could do quite a lot. Alright, more cleave damage. I wonder how much cleave damage we've got. 78% from this. Another 70% from this. So that's pretty good. Help Sunrise. Sunrise dead? I mean, honestly, I'm actually kind of opposed to keeping people alive. I think people should defend them for themselves. I'm down for helping each other become strong. But survive? That's up to you. Because, like, that's kind of the whole point, right? Like, I can keep... Sunrise alive forever. Sure. But at that point, is Sunrise alive? Or am I just Legion Commander and I can kill kill two creep ways? And it might also help with the lag. So, you know. Sorry, Sunrise. I have may have I may have unwillingly, unwittingly sabotaged you. I swear, it was not my intention. Alright, I need three more kills, so I'm just gonna take him. Duel. <laughs> we actually won that! Holy shit. Oh, this character is some bullshit. We should be so dead. Alright, one more kill, but everybody's dead. 
I mean, I definitely get the most damage from killing heroes. Like, by far the most damage. Because I get, like, what? 60 damage for killing a hero? Now I get 12 for killing a creep at best. I still need Battle Fury. I think Battle Fury is still good. I don't know what else I would buy, mostly. Why can't I not attack you, David? Like, it's not so much that I think Battle Fury is an amazing item, but, like, what else would I even want? I don't need extra attack speed. I've got max attack speed anyway. Or close to. Butterfly, no, creeps of True Strike. Could get more crit. I don't know, I like the Battle Fury. I think it's fine to just have some more cleave. Cleave is pretty good. It's pretty nice to have. Alright. Come here, friend. Nice. Got another epic. Uh, your next... Your, each six attacks empowers overwhelming odds. No, that's useless. I guess I get the moment of courage thing. I, it's just really no value to me getting kills anymore. Because, like, all of the epics kind of suck. Like, what? which one do I even care about? None really, right? Yes. Can I talk about something else for a bit? So I was watching the uh, Lima Major for Dota a little bit. And something that stood out to me is like, how is the production so bad? Like, I don't get it. Dota is a game that has so much money in it. How come that like casters are literally just in their living room and casting from there? Like, dude, just like, come on, get them out to a studio or something. I feel like that's not too much to ask for. And it like annoys me because I... And this is not a great argument. I understand that. But like it's still something that like annoys me in the back of my mind. Because I like other esports as well, right? I quite enjoy myself some Super Smash Brothers. Yes. But the problem is that scene doesn't have any goddamn money. They don't have any money. Like, the biggest prize pool ever in Melee was, like, 50k. And that was absurd. That was a crazy high prize pool. Generally speaking, pro players say when they go to a tournament, they lose money. Because the trip just costs more than they will earn in winnings. People still alive? Alchemist had to buy back. Yes. And then there's just this like part of me that's annoyed by the fact that in Dota you have price pools of half a million, like minimum. Like how much price pool does the Lima Major actually have? I don't even know. But I would bet that thing is like gonna be half a mil minimum, right? Okay, it's half a mil. Yeah, there we go. It's exactly half a mil. So, like, you've got half a million in price pool. And you just can't even bring in casters? I just think it's such a poor use of resources. Terrible use of resources. Like, fuck it. Skim another hundred grand on, on, off the top of that. Whatever. No, you know what Valve should really do? Like, every year's international, the money that goes into the price pool should be 25% goes to the international price pool, sure. Another 25% 
just goes for the next year competitive scene. So they can provide resources to tournament hosts and so on. Fly people out of their fucking bedrooms and actually attend in person. You know what I mean? So that the casters don't have to look like they just ran in off the street. And if Valve doesn't want to do that, then fuck it. Take 10% from it. 15% goes to the prize pool for the international. It doesn't need to be 40 million. Who cares? I feel a little mean for just dueling this guy over and over again. But I want the damage. Also, I've got 69 bonuses here, which is fun. I want the dual damage. What can I say? <clears throat> okay, play Golem. I don't know. I just, I just kind of feel like the Dota. It's just a little weird. I find it so odd. Like, what is prioritized in competitive Dota and what isn't? Mm -hmm. Like, there's a cap to how much money contributes something of worth to a price pool. The difference between a price pool that's 10,000 and 100,000, that's pretty enormous, right? That's a huge difference. The difference in a price pool between, you know, 40 million and 41 million, I mean, does that really matter? Even though, objectively speaking, the difference is larger, is it relevant? You get what I mean? Yes. I was watching... We So, I, Mickey uh, was watching Physical 100. So, then we watched Physical 100. And I liked it. So, I started watching, like, other weird, you know, game show type physical things on, uh, on Netflix. And I watched Beastmaster as well. And both of them are games, like uh, game shows, basically, which are just like physical, where you just have to do a certain thing. Beastmaster is an obstacle course, and Physical 100 is a bunch of like strength-based games, strength-based challenges. All right. And something that stood out to me is that Physical 100 clearly cared a lot about its price pool. It had a price pool that they set over and over again of $300,000. They just keep bringing up the $300,000 price pool, non-stop. And like, that's an impressive price pool. That's a big price pool. Physical, uh, uh, sorry, Beastmaster on the other hand, has a price pool of 10000 And guess what? Everybody still fucking tries. Like, they're still doing their best. It didn't stop anybody from actually giving a shit. And then I look at the difference between the two shows and it's clear that Beastmaster just put a lot more stock and a lot more emphasis on stuff like safety. <laughs> but even not that, like production values are just way higher, way better. Right? It's simpler, but it is better. Also, Physical 100 was clearly running out of money towards the end of it. Somebody dying? Oh, Embers? I am impressed that the Ember is still going. That's crazy to me. I can't attack. <laughs> oh, I got to attack. And the thing is that, like, those big numbers, those big price pools, like, sure, they are nice. But, like, I don't know, I just, like, fucking make the production better. Make it all a bit more professional, you know? Like, spend some money on actually getting the thing going. I frankly do not give a shit whether or not Team Spirit gets 8 million apiece for winning the International, or if they get 7 million. Whatever. Oh, we're out of blues. Nearly. We only have one blue left. 
You're forgetting that the TI prize pool ends up at 40 million. Valve already made 160. I'm not forgetting about that. That's why my first suggestion was that Valve should take less of that cut. I didn't forget about that. <laughs> hmm. Anybody else saw Physical 100? I have to say, I liked Physical 100 quite a lot in concept, in theory. But a lot of, particularly the later games, I thought were kind of really poorly designed. And I wish, I want to, I what Physical 100 has taught me is that I want to be the guy coming up for games, uh, coming up with games for game shows like Physical 100. Oh my god, Quill Boys! <gasps> okay, friends, let's do it. This is our moment. I, I, I dueled him to make sure I don't get stunned. Got him. I did it. We did it. We got him. Ogre Magi is done. Ogre Magi is out. Oh, Alchemist is out. Yeah. Alchemist is done. Ember Spirit. It's just Ember Spirit, Legion Commander, and Lena. Look at that. How's Ember Spirit doing so much damage? It's because Searing Chains are a percentage. Right? If the target was already under Searing Chains, it will instead receive magic damage equal to 6% of its maximum health. So with Ember Spirit, it's gonna be uh, just a matter of infinite survivability, really. As long as Ember Spirit can stay alive, Ember Spirit can continue. But he needs to stay alive. I mean, obviously, he does need to stay alive. I mean, like, duh. Tactical. <laughs> it's fine if he dies. <laughs> Plot twist. Ember Spirit is allowed to die. <laughs> so, I, I don't have a respawner right now, so I'll, I'll take this. It might actually matter. Like, it, it could be useful. Who knows? I think Val's mentality is higher price pool equals more players attracted. People outside from the door scene get attracted more than the money. But Valve really needs us to nurture the community. I don't think so. I think that's true to a certain extent. Right? I think to a certain extent there's definitely some like, Oh my god, look at how impressive the price pool is for Dota 2. But do you really think anybody cares whether or not the price pool is 40 million or 20 million? Like, on a practical level, is anybody gonna be like, well, I was gonna watch the International, but it only has a, 40, a 20 million price pool as opposed to a 40 million, so... So, no thanks. <laughs> like, you think that's gonna be the difference? Like, if you... You can definitely... get people's attention and interest... By having a large price pool. 100%. I agree. I mean, I think it would be a very silly thing to disagree with. But I do also think there's just like a cap. Right? It's just a limit. Like, eventually you just have enough price pool. It's just fine. You have enough of it. People's attention has been... Gotten. Ooh, Mega Creeps. That could actually be a problem. Interesting. But I think Dota, the Dota community's perception of its own concept competitive scene is like kind of weird. 
Like, for example, something that I saw people bring up frequently is that they're like, they want tier 2 teams to be able to make a living off of Dota. And I mean, no disrespect to tier 2 teams, right? But like, that's delusional. Like, in what sport can a tier 2 team make a living off of it? Like, this, that's... This... Sorry, there's just not that many. Okay. Well, we're fine. And I mean, like, sure, that would be nice. But ultimately, I think that's a... And a wrong priority. All right, Lina is hanging in there. Ember Spirit is trying his best. Ember's done. I don't think Ember is making it. Yeah, Ember just is struggling to tank. It's close. It's so close. No, I think he's actually okay. But he's gonna die to a ranged wave. I mean, we might all die to a ranged wave, honestly. He has a respawn. Yeah, but if the at this point, if the creeps get into your base, you're dead instantly. It's like another thing where I saw people like talk about how do you revive the tier two Dota scene. And some of the like bizarre suggestions that I saw, like so, like people were bringing up Alkosh Gaming and how Alkosh Gaming is trying to revive it by bringing attention to it, and I'm just like. Dota doesn't need attention. If you want to have a tier 2 competitive scene, guys, what do you need? What's the most important thing to run a competitive scene on of any degree, but like of a tier 2 scene? Well, what would you need? What would you need first of all? Tournaments. Wait, here. Yeah, players support, people will watch it, money, respect and money. <laughs> No, you need tournaments. Obviously, you need tournaments. I know that seems like such a basic thing. Like, you probably assumed, like, well, obviously, there are tournaments. But, uh, no, that's the thing you need. You just need tournaments. <laughs> you want a competitive scene? Well, then somebody gotta run some tournaments. And, you know who runs tournaments? It's not the players. Right? It's tournament organizers. So your priority in supporting a tournament, like a tier two competitive scene, shouldn't be in trying to support players. It shouldn't be in supporting, like trying to create big price pool. What you need to support are tournament organizers. That's something that other esports, particularly again, Super Smash Bros. Melee, actually does really well. Well, reasonably well, even there it's a bit problematic. I have attack range now, too. Nice. <laughs> okay, same toys. Um, these are mildly problematic because they have a stun. So that'll be scary. No, I don't go for this, right? If I kill her now, they'll, she, she'll just be dead. Okay, is there any more of the right side? Well, I don't need attack speed. That doesn't do anything. So I guess I'll get the shield. Like, I don't particularly like getting the uh, shield at this point because it's kind of weak. It's just too late for it, right? But... I've got four of these. <laughs> but ultimately... That's what I need. Okay, come on. Yep, we dodged that. We're good. Woo! All right, extra damage against creeps. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
I don't know, maybe I should stop reading Reddit. Like, that might be my main problem. Because I just see ideas and suggestions on there. Like, how Valve should dedicate a portion of um, the international money to promo uh, like to price pools for tier 2 tournaments and it's just like you do chat what happens if i give a tier 2 tournament a high price pool just like you know what what happens let's say we have a tier 2 tournament that's meant for the tier 2 scene and we want to make it we want to make it interesting by giving it a high price pool it becomes a tier 1 tournament. Right, like, it's just like immediately, it becomes a tier 1 tournament. Like, you can't fix tier 2 tournaments missing if you increase the price pool. You just create more tier 1 tournament. Like, it just doesn't work on like a basic level, right? Ugh. Price pool is just not actually the, the, the fix for everything or really most things. It, it doesn't actually help in that many ways at all. And also, if you just raise the price pool, like, how do I, as a tier 2 tournament organizer, get anything out of that? How does that help me? In what way do I, the tier 2 tournament organizer, benefit from the my tier 2 tournament having a million dollars price pool? Like, what does that do? That doesn't do anything. Okay, cool. I guess the players are getting money now. Who's paying me? <laughs> <clears throat> okay. Um, nature Guardians. Hey, we're closing in on uh, 4,000 damage. That's pretty cool. I'm just farming blue orbs, by the way. Because I, I don't know. What else am I going to do? I might as well farm blue orbs. I might as well do that. I'm very impressed that the Ember Spirit and the Lena have hung in this long, though. Very impressed by that. Okay. So we'll get to 4,000 bonus damage in a moment. Another blue. Guess I'll get lifesteal. Pretty lucky with the spell prison. Hmm. No creeps. No, give me a creep. Good. <clears throat> So, well, let's do it. <clears throat> so I think we just attack normally here, because this is going to take a little while. And I want to make sure I can reapply my W. Because we need that active for the entire fight. Because you can see, as soon as it runs out, we just die. So if we ever let our W run out in the middle of a fight, like, that's the moment we die. But, for the time being, that's not happening. So we're fine. You're good? Alright. Where's my creeps? Where's my patrol? How much cleave do I have? 117%. I will get, I think, more movement speed, actually. <clears throat> Ooh, missed one. Yes. Oh. 
I have way too many of those. I want more gems because I'm nosy and I want to know what's going on. I will get more of this, I guess. I haven't seen them. Should I use my should I use my gem now? Do you think they survived? I think they survived. I don't see the Lena dying to those creeps. And honestly, I don't really see the Ember Spirit dying to them. Yeah, Lena's fine. There she is. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> I mean, okay. Lena isn't farming for anything anyway. Right? She's got all of her blue orbs. She doesn't need anything anymore. And I almost have another epic. <laughs> mm -hmm. So is it a little mean? Maybe. But, uh, you know. Also, there was an Ember Spirit for a moment. Who, like, ran into me, unfortunately. Well, unfortunately for him, not for me. I was I I'm having a great time. On my way. Yeah, although yes. like I mean dueling still helps because it gives me damage. But it doesn't actually like killing one of them with a duel doesn't help for anything other than damage. Like I don't get any of those cool effects anymore. All right. Yeah, I guess we'll get more strength. Yes. So we don't want to kill anybody now. I gotta get away. I gotta get away from her. I am like mildly tempted to throw an overwhelming odds at her just to see what happens, and I'm worried that it might kill her. <laughs> I am mildly worried that literally just using overwhelming odds might be enough to kill her, and that will be a problem. This next wave is a problem in general, actually. This next pro next wave is brutal, because it's got that survive uh, like that survivable survival thing. It's got um, what's it called, Shadow Grave. Yeah, this might kill the Ember. Actually, I think you're right. I think this will probably kill the Ember. But we are okay, because as long as we just keep our buffs going, we don't really take that much damage. We have brief moments where we do take damage, but really just brief moments. Okay, Ember. Ooh, so close. I don't know if he can kill the Huskars. No, he can. Damn, I'm totally underestimating that guy. And Lina as well. They are fine. Alright. <clears throat> Can't put Shallow Grave. Not the normal Dota. I would assume the same is true here as well, but I haven't tested it. If I may. Do I want status resistance? Moment of Courage attacks reduce armor? We already have a lot of armor reduction. Ooh, sorry, I nearly killed you. Did I get this? How rude. Okay. They will burn. So I guess I'll get this. Mostly for the movement speed actually. I don't really care about the armor reduction. But I just don't think status resistance is gonna be that useful. At least not that small amount of status resistance. So overwhelming odds does how much damage? 
2000. So that wouldn't one-shot anyone. That would not be one-shotting anything. I need three more kills. <laughs> Funnily enough, so far, we have not actually needed this mod at all. Right? Like, they are still three players alive. Oh, Cone Warriors are brutal. Those are going... I think that's it. I think I win this round. The problem with the Cone Warriors is that they return damage. Do they? Reduces incoming damage. Root and help the other guys. No, I want to win. Why would I help them? How would, I, how would that benefit me? Hmm. I will get more evasion for what it's worth. I, I don't those guys have a damage return thing, but I don't know. We'll see. Alright, hello. Okay, time to go back. Channel this. We'll immediately get into position over here, so I don't even have to blink in. Absolutely. I should not have done that. But we're okay. We're okay. I really need to stop using Duel here. Duel against these creeps is actually not a good idea. Because I can't cast my press the attack during Duel, and press the attack is actually the only thing that's keeping us alive. Oh my god. <laughs> oh yeah, those hits kill us good. They do kill us very much so. Well, I'm curious. Did they make it? They did! Oh dear. This next wave might kill me. Yeah, well the Lena and the Ember Spirit, they have percentage based damage. I don't. I'm just I'm just punching things really, really hard. So, that might be a problem in the long run. Yeah, maybe I just get BKB here. Okay. <laughs> get another one of these. Oops, I used it. It doesn't matter. I have so many of them. Oh, no. Yeah, we'll, we'll get a BKB here, I think. Is Crimson even worth it? 1 billion percent. Crimson Guard gives us a flat 40% damage reduction. 40%. 1 million percent worth it. There's not an item in the game that is better. So if you activate it. I've been activating it. You forget act you forget to activate your Crimson Guard in the final duel 15 times in a row and all of a sudden everybody acts as if you never activated unbelievable behavior That can happen to anyone 15 times in a row Yeah, I'll get more cleave. More get more cleave. Any creeps here? Yeah. 
4,400. If, if I kill him right now, that would actually still be within the time frame, right? Oops. Mobby. I didn't know it still went up. I didn't know it was 64 seconds. Wait, wait, wait. Do I have a stunning thing? Oh shit, I don't have a stunner. <laughs> I was gonna stun my creeps and kill his. Well, sorry. I feel a little bad about that now, but... I mean, to be honest, he actually probably has enough time to just come back into it, but I do feel a little bad. Like, this is enough time to go and defend against the creeps. <sighs> Alright. Alright. Okay, I think we got it. This is definitely one of the harder ways for us because of the break. How much damage are we gonna take? When our things thing wears off? 35 <laughs> Oh no! One of them went, came through. I'll, I'll, I'll see if I can come over and help. I think you're fine. Holy shit! All right. I feel, I feel bad for that. I apologize. That was not my intention. I thought that the death timer was lower than that. I actually, like, honestly, I thought death timer was fifty seconds. So. You know, I thought there was actually a good amount of time left. Um, but no, we're fine. Next is Troll Summoner. I'm actually not worried about those. Get more cleave damage. So, how are you guys doing, by the way? Anybody got anything planned today? Hey, we got 4,500 dual damage. Yes. <laughs> That's very good. Okay, I've got a stunner. And a vision thing. I'll put the BKB over here. Anybody got anything planned today? Because I'm apparently going to be in here for another hour. Like, we are... Add two hours game time now, and honestly, I don't really think anybody is struggling. Like, does it seem like anybody is struggling? I, I don't really think so. I think everybody's doing great. Run! Got it. That's fine. 70 kills. We were at 69 for a moment, and I apologize for not pointing it out. That's fine. She's got plenty of time to respawn. Look, I just want a few more epics. I don't really have a reason why. I just want them. There's nothing else to do anyway. Leave me alone. If I want a few epics, I can have them. As a treat. Also, I want more dual damage. Do actually, unlike everybody else, I do need to get these kills. Because otherwise, I won't continue scaling enough. I mean, the way things are looking, 
I genuinely think I'm gonna die first. I don't know if you will, but you know. I should take zero damage with 300 plus armor. No, I, the Alkylos actually died pretty early. Ooh, sorry. <laughs> oh my god, that did so much damage. I did not. If I had accidentally attacked her there, she would have just died. <laughs> so I'm glad that I didn't do that. Um, yeah, that was actually a little spooky. Okay. That was a mistake. I shouldn't have done that. It's fine. Probably. No, we're totally fine. This guy doesn't actually really do any damage. Yeah, we're good. I think I just get more strength. More survivability, right? So I'm just... Hunting the Lena a bit more? Is that the plan? I mean, I'm guessing nobody's dying to this. Yeah, Ember's already done. Lena's still going at it. God. That's some serious power. Yeah, she got it. I wonder how many of those she's got queued up. Gotta be a few, right? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Look, I need dual damage. Every time I get one of those, that's like five duels on creeps. Don't judge me for it. Okay, channel this here. Oh, he's moving into a weird... No, where are you going? Oh, this is so annoying. Hmm. All right, got it. Yeah, if I've got a duel going on, I'm pretty much un unbeatable. Okay. Free I'll surely maybe four even. No, Zeno, don't do that to me. Wait, I need to make sure we have enough hard drive space. <laughs> We've got 300 gigabytes left. I hope that's enough. If we're here for another two hours, I'm going to go delete some stuff. I'm just, I'm just, just gonna delete some things. Now we've got 450 gigabytes. Okay, that should be fine. Look, these are very big file sizes that are my recordings. My, 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 I, my recordings are fucking enormous. That's a game of Alchemist, Nina, and TA. Why TA? Because of her Q? The idea? Would you go for the queue? Casually deletes 150 gigabytes. It's just video files. How would TA be so strong? How's TA stronger than Legion Commander? Because of traps, there's an illusion. Ah, okay. It's percentage based. I find it funny that my, our, our best friend actually wanted to play as um, Alchemist. But then Alchemist was picked by somebody else, and he was really grumpy, and I said he should pick Lina, because Lina is going to be good. And look at where that got him! This is what you get if you listen to me. Gotta have some trust. Oh shit, this wave is going to kill us. That is this it? Are we done? Because they stun, right? As soon as that alchemist can't die. It's not true, he died. <laughs> He's clearly dead. <laughs> I mean, I have a bit of a counter-argument to that. 
Game will go on with two players. That's the idea, but we haven't actually had a chance to test it. There's Ember. One death. And... I am fine. Okay. The idea is that the game continues. Uh, when there are only two players left. But we don't know for sure. Because so far, there are still three players left. Well, Ember Spirit did use his buyback. So, oh my god, there's another buyback. Did they get into the base? They may have gotten into the base. I'm curious. That's it! Lina's done! Oh my god! <laughs> well, there goes the towel. So it does continue, that's good. We did, at least that worked. No, don't run. I mean, the funny thing is I can't just fight back and like win in these encounters. We'll be at 5,000 dual damage soon. I got another vision thing. I mean, there's really no need, no reason to get anything else. These guys are gonna be scary too. We gotta target down the one that, like, pushes you away. Okay. We will get 13 damage. Why not? I mean, that's value. That's cash money. <clears throat> I'm very impressed that Ember Spirit made it this well. I'm also mildly impressed with Legion Commander, though. I didn't think Legion Commander would actually be able to go all the way. But apparently, yeah, she's pretty strong. I gotta be honest, do I keep a soul cross? Does that even do anything? Comes. Like, genuinely, does a soul cross do anything? It gives me like 15 armor, but I have 55 armor. Even without it. Get Wraith packed? I don't think so. I, my strength isn't surviving. I don't really care about surviving. Like, my strength is killing them before they can kill me. Like, I do a ton of damage. I think if I get rid of this, which I do, I just buy another Daedalus. Like, I just get another one of these bad boys. I think that's the most damage increase. Because we go up to 50% crit chance. Yes. All right, let's see. Like, we have 90% damage reduction with these anyway. We don't really care. Oh my god, that was so close. I gotta kill this guy. All right, dual time. Die. Okay, good. I don't know what's happening, but somehow we are alive. Whoo, we made it. Whoo, we made it. That one was hard. That one was hard. 
I have no goddamn clue how we survived that. <laughs> Not even the slightest idea. Get the fusel. Oh, that's smart. We can like burn their mana, yeah. Just spawn Wraith Pack. What does Wraith Pack do? It reduces their damage by 30%. So what? Like, okay, I think we should, I think to understand why Wraith Pack, in my opinion, doesn't do anything, we need to talk about the difference between damage reduction and damage reduction. Um, so, <laughs> what I am using to survive is damage reduction on my hero. So I'm reducing how much damage I take. While Wraith Pack reduces how much damage my opponents deal. Now, my opponents deal like 10,000 attack damage. If I reduce their damage, they still deal like 7,000 attack damage. So I will still die. It doesn't make a difference. But, press the attack and Crimson Guard give me a combined 90% damage reduction on my hero. Meaning, I take 90% less damage. Okay, yeah, I get that it's free and I should do it. I agree. Sure, whatever. Let's do it. But I'm just saying that Wraith Pack isn't as impactful as you think it is. Like, it, it won't actually matter that much. Because ultimately, it's not the kind, the right kind of damage reduction. The kind of damage reduction we care about is... Also, I think, genuinely speaking, Spell Prism is better to have. Right, because if I swap this out, this goes to 6.8. I, why am I keeping the Stygian? The Stygian is stupid. Why have none of you said that I should get rid of the Stygian? Spell Prism is just way stronger. Spell Prism is a million times stronger than Stygian. Anyway, the point is that Wraith Pact is the wrong kind of damage reduction. Um, it reduces their attack damage. Which could matter, but like likely won't. Likely doesn't. <clears throat> Alright. Well, ultimately, uh, I'm still gonna buy it because, as you guys said, which is true, you guys are right about that. It's free. Like, we, we, there's no cost associated with it. We might as well use it. Because we can just pop it before the round even starts, send it in, and then get ourselves into position. Because it lasts, like, what? 25 seconds. That's plenty of time. Right? So we can just come in here. Grab this. Pop. Wait. Pop this here. Equip a BKB. This was a mistake. Shouldn't have dueled. Sans is a problem. Do I buy back? I, I do. Okay. Need a BKB. So the Wraith Pack there cost me. Because it, I actually I actually get rid of it, I think. So the problem with the Wraith Pact is that it used too much of my mental concentration to cast it, place it, micro it in, swap my items in and out. A better player than me could definitely, definitely 100% um, gotten value out of it and can definitely just use that for a bit of additional damage reduction. But me, it just distracts me. I need to focus on the tools that I have and get value out of those. Because I was planning on having BKB in my inventory there. But I didn't because I wasn't in position before the fight started. And I need to be in... I need to be in the fight or like in the base. Do I need to be in the base? I guess if I give myself enough time with the Wraith Pact. It's 25 seconds. Okay, I have a different way of, of using it. Okay, we'll get it. We'll try again. It does suck that we used the buyback, but I guess that's gonna happen. Oh, shit. 
I think this might be it. I don't know how we win against toxic spiders. I think that's it. Because they will just place the toxic. They all break in silence. And I, I can't. And then I have to run out. And then I die. BKB defusal. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Alright. Let's do that. We BKB and we defusal blade the big guy. I think that's gotta be the plan. Ooh. this. And we've got like, oh, 5,000 damage. Alright, um, so I have my BKB, this comes in here, and I get my Diffusal Blade. And then I also get Wraith Pact. Mm -hmm. And, okay. Absolutely. We just wait here. Refresher doesn't exist in the game mode. A stasis trap. I don't have a stasis trap. I've got 15. Wait, do I have a... Oh, do I do... Fuck. Quick. Okay. Then we don't want Wraith Pact. I have too much cleave. I will try to hit one spider with overwhelming odds. All right, we we'll summon this guy. Why does it? I only want to hit the front spider. Okay, it's out of mana. Attack? Why are you not attacking? Shit. That's it. Ah! Ah! <laughs> Damn, Ember Spirit! Elevation. Uh, yeah. It was pretty close. I mean we nearly got him at the end there, but it just it just wasn't quite meant to be. Wow. Two and a half hours of that. Um well I hope you guys enjoyed it. <laughs> If you did, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. I would definitely appreciate that. And uh, yeah, it turns out Ember Spirit is really good at this. Uh, so yeah, I, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Goodbye.